If you love comedies and complicated relationships, then we may have just the show for you. It's called Designed for Living. It's a play by Noel Coward, and it's coming to a theater near you very soon. Thaddeus Fitzpatrick is here from the University of Alabama Department of Theater and Dance to tell me more about it. Thaddeus, thank you so much for being with us today. It's nice to be here. Design for Living. I have not seen this show, but I hear it's pretty funny. Tell me about it. It's, it's pretty funny, um, especially uh, the parts not having to do with the relationship in, in itself, but uh, um, it's a uh, play about uh, this polyamorous relationship between these three people and how they have to deal with that um, in the 30s, which is a very conservative time, and so everyone's judging them and how they have to deal with the judgment and at the end they just finally decide that it's that it's their decision and who who they want to love and so it's 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 really entertaining to see now this is almost the flip-flop of a show that uh came out in the 70s 80s called three's company you're young but do you remember that john oh yeah oh yeah show? all right so is is you you said polyamorous so there actually is love relationships these yes. aren't just three people that are interested in each other these are three people that have pursued these relationships and, and consummated them. Yes. Wow. Yes, indeed. Okay. Yeah. And so... Is this the, a kid-friendly show? No. Not at all. It is definitely huh? not a kid-friendly show, um, but uh, if you trust your children with this kind of subject matter, go ahead, bring them to the show, but just know that it, it the, the, the subject matter that is in the show. There we go. And, and it is a comedy. Yes. All right. Now, expl explain to me how this works because uh, it, it looks like there's, there's two males and a female here, right? Yes, indeed. So there's just all kinds of stuff oh, going yeah. on in this oh, relationship. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. There's the, the, the two men are also in love as well as the men are in love with the female. So uh, either way, there's going to be some kind of same gender love going on if it was two women and a male or two males and a woman with the polyamorous relationship. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's the kind of love that we're seeing in this particular show. Now, uh, you're one of the actors in the show. Your character's name is? Otto. Otto. All right. So you're one of the three. Was this a stretch for you? Can you wrap your mind around it how was. this kind of relationship would actually work and it, exist? It was, it, it was, in fact, a stretch. And um, actually going into the audition process, I, I was, I, I, this was the role that I was most intrigued on playing because I'd never done anything like this before. Mm -hmm. um, and I felt it was going to stretch me as an actor, so I'd never imagined myself picturing myself playing a role of someone in a polyamorous relationship like right. this. It, usually I'm, I've stick to outrageous comedy character driven roles, but this is a really down to earth um, picture of uh, this kind of relationship, which is really refreshing to see, um, and not just something that's a caricature of this kind of relationship. There we go. So it, it's not stereotypes. No, definitely not. Now tell us a little bit about, you said this was based in the 30s, and I'm assuming there are other characters that come in and, and they influence the, your behavior and, and the other two leads by how they judge you and react to you and, and things like that. I'm wondering uh, where, where does the humor enter into all this at? Well, a, a lot of it is dramatic, but the humor um, comes in with that judgment and how we deal with it ah. um, and how we just have to shove it off and just be us. Uh, it, it, it's, it's really nice to see uh, a, an, an interesting relationship blossom through that and through what we have to go through together um, and how we interact with those people that really don't see us how we see ourselves. Oh, it sounds like a really good show. It this is. should be this should be date night for Richard and Tara Scott. <laughs> this is right up their alley. <laughs> Thaddeus, thank you so much for being with us thank and you break for a leg. Me. Thank you so much. Design for Living is February 4th through the 10th at the Allen Bales Theater. For tickets and showtimes, call 205 348 3400 or online at theater.ua.edu.